I don't think it's really commonly known that there have actually been over three million IVF babies born since the first IVF baby, Louise Brown, was born back in 1978. But the, the basic IVF procedures where we're fertilizing an egg in the laboratory, I think now that it's been around for 30 years, is no longer experimental. Now, it was really different a long time ago. You just go into a doctor and they'd say, oh, you look like you have brown hair. I'll get you some sperm from a guy that's got brown hair. <laughs> that was sort of, it wasn't really high tech. And that's how it was done. But, um, but it was a whole different world now. Since the day I met Kathy, years and years ago, um, one of the things she's always said was that I am put on the cert to be a mother. It seemed like every single person was either, you know, accidentally got pregnant or it was a surprise. Every other parent has the, the magic solution, the answer, the fix. My mother was saying, if it was meant to be, it'll be. And I kept thinking, well, if it was meant to be, I wouldn't be doing this. The overwhelming desire to have a child is the product of a deep-seated instinctive urge to perpetuate the species, spurring an almost insatiable desire for human beings to have children. And when, I, when I got those results from my sperm count, it was actually very devastating. Very devastating. My mom always says, um, God only gives you as much as you can handle. And even though you think you can't, that's the test that you get put through. What's important about infertility is to understand that you're not alone that there are lots of other people that suffer with fertility too. When we speak about reproductive endocrinology and, and couples with infertility, it's not a standard medical problem. There's a certain amount of trial and error. How's this woman going to respond to these fertility drugs? Then you, you're told you're, you're going to go on injectables now. And I thought, what? And I remember chasing her around the hotel room with the sh shots and her crying, saying, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this. It's a very different type of medicine from anything else. You're dealing with patients' dreams. And that's probably why they call it the practice of medicine. You know, nobody fits into this box that you think, oh, this should be relatively straightforward. The doctor's given us a checklist. Let's go down it, follow it accurately. And uh, if we do everything we're, we're asked to do, it might work. It's a very inefficient process. We land up with a lot of eggs most of the time but there's an, att an attrition continuously. Did very well with the retrieval process and had 12 embryos to analyze. We ended up with a good dozen embryos. And I heard him say 33. We could have, you know, 22 kids if we want right now. Only two out of the 12 embryos were normal. We ended up with a lot of eggs that went to, embryos that went to blastocyst. And the dilemma was at this point, how many embryos do you transfer? We're gonna put 25 in storage and transfer two. The chance of having six embryos in plant and give birth to six babies was extremely unlikely. Well, they asked, asked us, they what did. could you do if you had triplets? And I tell you, I still can't give you the answer. Part of it is getting pregnant, staying pregnant. I think it was one night I just started bleeding uncontrollably and I was just in so much pain. And she said, but you sound upset. And I said, well, I'm, I'm bleeding. She said, you meet me at the clinic. I said, we need, we need to go to the hospital right now. It, it all happens so fast. Like, it seems it's all this preparation, preparation, preparation. And then all of a sudden, I said, oh my god, we're in our feet. Prior to that, this was all theory. You know, on paper, we're doing this. Chemically, this is happening. And then when that happens, it's really, you know, it's the big leagues. Follow the journeys of would-be parents. Leah and Steve Sulkin, Kathy and Eric Henning, Kelly and Tom Sherwin, and Beth Cole, as they each journey toward the hope of parenthood and through the art and science of making a baby. <laughs>